Jirel can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly, to no effect. I'll gladly argue with you about this some other time. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Siri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Zirel from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses. Arch mistresses of magic. You mean the Lodge? Many of the Lodge's members are dead. The rest are in hiding. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, and Fringilla Vigo are likely still alive. And Francesca and Ida? Think they'd agree? I think they'll take convincing. Would you rather speak to Kira alone? That would probably be best. Don't trust the Lodge one bit. But doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think. I've had enough of this. I won't be taken somewhere like a... Bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You can't expose yourself. Am I a banner to be held aloft and kept from the enemy? That's how you treat me. None of you has the courage to face this threat. Yet we must kill them. Or sooner or later we will all die. Better go after her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. <sighs> we shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Geralt, please, not now. <sighs> By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalach says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus, no matter what's happening. Hmm, there's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? The Skellica druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! 
We about to have a snowball fight? Confused. You'll regret that. <laughs> okay. Hey, Whoa. that's cheating. <laughs> Win. We'll see about that. <laughs> Come and get me. I love how she's like. How's it cheating? I love how we're using the, oh, the Wild Hunt White Frost to have a snowball fight. <laughs> That's awesome. You were right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Oh, girl. She knew it was going to come to. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Geralt. Geralt. Wake up. What? What? What's happening? Get up. You must go. I've saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen. Bold Mountain, but a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no oh. better chance to get him. Where'd you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts. Caught up in the revelry. They'll not expect the blow. Siri, sure you know what you're getting into? Yes. And I must do this. Come. We shall talk on the way. Wait. Something I gotta tell you before we go. You know, the Emperor really wanted you found. Yennefer mentioned something. Wanted you to visit him. Why would you tell me now? Because this could be your last chance to see your... father. Think I should go? Probably just wants to talk. How can you be sure? What if he wants something more? Promised me he wouldn't force you to do anything. So I should go? He is your father. Vizima is on the way. I suppose we can drop in. I hope I made the right decision doing that. Ready? Let's go. Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die.
your Imperial Majesty, Geralt of Rivia, and... Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton, heiress to Innes Ard Skellig and Innes Ann Skellig, and suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Get used to it. Before long, every soul from Nilfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. Siri wanted to hear what you have to say. And she will. Your reward. Didn't come to collect on a deal. You asked me to bring your daughter here. I did just that. Siri will hear you out, then we leave. I don't need the money. I want to make sure? sure she... Never again would you need to stalk monsters while wading through sewage. That look she gave. I'm sure. Means she thinks we're doing this for the right reasons. I understand. Honor prevents you from accepting coin. In that case, a stallion, a thoroughbred milf guardian, awaits you in the stables. Treat it as an expression of my gratitude. Thank you. Now forgive me. I wish to speak to my daughter. Follow me, sir. Pretty sure she can handle him, but if she needs me, she knows how to find me. Or she can holler. White Wolf, good to see you. Greetings, General. You had no trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. None. I take it you crossed via the ford near Van Glean? It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind, a troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west. But he'll not succeed. Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. Siri hasn't agreed to that yet. Yes, of course, she's tactful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made. But this is not the kind of offer one refuses. Isn't it? Do you know any who would not like to be Emperor of Nilfgaard? Siri? Imagine. I thought only the wine addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. The prodigal daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace her inheritance. <laughs> Simpletons adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate or other. Geralt, we're leaving. Uh oh. So nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. Well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. Buy you? He offer anything specific? Yes. Very specific. And thoroughly absurd. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to talk about it. Not now, at least. Won't pressure you. When you're ready, let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri, who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die.
Wow. Oh, that's that mountain with that tree I wanted to see. Ah, uh, that's why we couldn't get in. Oh. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here. And the Baron thought the Ladies of the Wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. Hanged himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridan's behest, to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the crones guest. Seem to know it well. Havelark's a good tutor. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I have no idea why. Avalach claims vanity is Imlarith's great. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthia, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalog's student. Geralt? Should I shoot? The white one once served the ladies. But He's in up. Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fires down that away with food and drink a plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. Thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Mentioned a gate, said we wouldn't pass. Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess, the young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Velen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, 
listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling, scared to death, and about eight years old. Stay calm. Your children, why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Already. That's him. We can never know. We each one things that Sir. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> can you make my armor? Let me see what you're. Are you good enough? Oh no, you're you're a blacksmith. No, you can't make anything. Yet. So long. You know, I need someone who can make my armor better. Dang it. Good ladies. Merciful ladies. The grandson, give him health. Do a hard save there. It's been a while. Give him health. Oh, right before cutscene. Perfect. Look, a child. That Johnny? No, a godling. That's Johnny! That name's Johnny. What is he doing here? Oh, I guess Hello, it makes sense. Bae. You're back! Uh, and I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided though it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. He was taking through. a dump. It was nice downright to glorious. Helps <laughs> good, so no complaints. Oh man! What, you here? what are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse. Same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come. Wander about and go home with the rising sun. What about you? We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? 
I'd rather try to dissuade you. I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh. Path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Oh, good grief! You're worse than children! Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the lady. <laughs> Damn, bro. Shots fired. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the crones. Big bloke. In full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again someday. Moons are rising, owls hoot. Fires just a come on, come closer, girl. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. <sighs> Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. Aye. Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. What's this about? What have you chosen her for? Tell him. Each year, three chosen have the honour to meet the ladies. What happens after they've had this honor? When they return, they speak of the past no more. Joy rules them, and they start life anew. The lass were not the first to be chosen this day, but the moon hangs eyes, so she's like to be the last. I'm going with her. <laughs> He's fire in his gut. What do you see? He's determined. He loves the girl, but he seeks to hide it from us. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right, you may appeal my choice. But to do so, you must best the challenge. Okay. What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. 